All right, here's a bunch of problems where you can practice your empirical rule skills. Uh, what I did is I tried to format it so it would look like what you would see if this were a quiz. So I suppose the length of time before you lose interest in one of my videos is normally distributed. There's that normally distributed that you'll see in every single problem that tells you when you draw the picture, you draw it so that it looks like it's approximately normal. They tell you the mean is 20 and the standard deviation is 5. And you already know because of the empirical rule that 68% of observations lie within one standard deviation of the mean. Maybe there's some shorthand. And 95% lie within two standard deviations of the mean. And 99.7 lie within three standard deviations of the mean. And using that information, I think you can answer all these questions. And what I ask you to do is not only figure out the answers, but sketch pictures, show the middle, count up and down, one, two, three on both sides, and show all calculations. The reason I'm asking you to show all calculations is because if you make a mistake and just give me the answer and it's wrong, or give your grader the answer, what's she supposed to do? Right? She doesn't know how close you are, how much knowledge you had on the topic. It's just wrong. I mean, she's nice. Maybe she gives you a little bit of credit. But if you show all your calculations and you just added a couple numbers wrong but had the right idea, it's not a big deal. So definitely show your calculations. Help yourself out. And what percent of videos do you lose interest in the first 15 minutes? Well, here's my normal distribution. Which is going to get worse and worse looking as this video goes on. I remember that the mean was 20 and that the standard deviation was 5. So I'm putting 20 in the middle and I'm counting up and down by 5s this time. That gives me this picture. Pretty good looking, if I do say so myself. Uh, first 15 minutes would be to the left of this 15, right? First 15 minutes means less than 15 minutes. So I don't know, it's that red shaded region, I guess. And how do you figure that out? Well, there's lots of ways you could figure it out. How I would figure it out is I would recognize that from 15 to 25, I get 68% of the area in here. So what that means is there's a total of 32% over here and over here together. So what that means is that this must be 16%. How would you show those calculations? Well, really, however you want. Oh, my answer is 16%. Maybe that gets like a box or something. You could do something like 100 minus 68 equals 32, and 32 divided by 2 equals 16. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's some sort of knowledge. That in this picture, if I were the grader, I'd be able to follow what you were doing. Oh, I don't know. That's sort of the idea. Let's do it again. Second problem. In what percentage of videos do you lose interest between the 10th and 25th minute? Okay. Sounds like another picture. Another attempt at a symmetric bell-shaped distribution. 20 is still in the middle. 10 would be two standard deviations below the mean. So maybe it kind of looks like that. And 25 would be one above the mean. So it looks like that. And you can put in the rest of the uh, times if you want. I don't know that you really have to. Depends how pretty you want your answer to be. What you're being asked is to find this area right here. How do you find that area? Well, there's lots of options, but what I would do is I would split it at the mean. I would figure out this area that's, I don't know what that is, like kind of reddish blue, purple maybe? I don't know. Figure out how much area there is there, then figure out how much there area there is on the other side, and then add those together. How much area is here? Well, if it said 15 to 25, that would be one standard deviation below to one standard deviation above, so I'd have 68% of the data. But it doesn't. It only shows half of that. So this would be 68 divided by 2. In other words, 34%. And the stuff in blue? Well, same lo logic. If it went from 10 to 30, it would be 95%. Um, but it doesn't go from 10 to 30. It only does half of that from 10 to 20. So half of 95%, 95 over 2 is 47.5%. And, and that's this area. So my final answer, I don't know, answer would be 47.5 plus 34. I guess if you wanted to write that, you could. That ends up giving you 81.5%. You could label that in the picture if you want. Or, I mean, this would be totally sufficient. I could tell what you're doing. I could see what's shaded. You're showing some work up here in the calculations. That's the answer for number two. Are we really going to do eight of these? Wow. All right. Uh, number three, maybe a little bit quicker. What percentage of videos do you lose interest between the 10th and 15th minute? I wonder if we're in that range yet. Well, let's see. Here's 20, 15, 10. Here's 10, here's 15. This one's pretty hard, uh, I think. I don't know. 
I'm going to put the full picture in because this might be one where you need a little bit of help. And so maybe you want something a little bit prettier. So what did it say again? 10 and 15th minute. Well, I mean, that's easy enough to shade in. That's from here to here. But to find that area is pretty challenging. Here's how I would do it. Don't have to do it this way, but here's how I would do it. Take advantage of the middle again. I end up taking advantage of the middle in just about every problem. This red area here is not part of my answer, but I know how big it is, right? Because I know from 15 to 25 is 68%. So from 15 to 20 is 34%, similar to how from 20 to 25 is 34%, from 15 to 20 is 34%. And you're like, right, but that's not the answer. The answer is this question in green. Okay, but if I think about, you can tell I'm limited by colors, red, green, and blue on this video. If I think about what's outlined in blue here, I can find that. Right, because that's half of from 10 to 30. And from 10 to 30 would be 95. I've already found that. From 10 to 20, I did it right over here. It's 47.5%. Outlined in blue is 47.5%. You're like, right, but I don't want red and I don't want blue. I want green. Why do you keep telling me what I don't want? Because if you know blue and you know red, you can find green. Because all green is, is the area if you start out with all the blue and you erase all the red. So start out with 47 and a half and then take away the 34 that you don't want. 47.5 minus 34, that leaves you with 13 and a half percent. That would be the answer that we're looking for in this question. It's pretty hard, I think. Um, I don't know, that's one where if you memorize the area of the different segments, it's definitely easier to get that one that way. Um, but I think ideally, if you can think about it this way, that's really good. That's expert level empirical rule stuff. Moving on, number four. In what percentage of videos do you lose interest before the 30th minute? All right. First thing you want to do is recognize that the 30th minute, wow, that's getting weird, is two standard deviations above the mean. All right, that's really important. It corresponds with a Z score of two. And what did I say before the 30th minute? Okay, so that's all of this stuff over here. Can't get that answered directly out of your empirical rule. But if you split it up in the middle, like, damn, that trick comes into play a lot. Yep. Figure out the red part, figure out the blue part, add up the red and the blue, get your answer. What's the answer for the red part? Well, if it were 10 to 30, let's see, if it were, have I done that yet? I'm sure I've done that. If it were 10 to 30, it would have been 95%, but it's not, it's just from 10 to 20. No, it's not. It's just from 20 to 30, but kind of the same logic. It's half of what it would be from 10 to 30. So it's half of that 95% is 47.5%. What about this side? This side is so easy, it's hard, in my opinion. We shaded everything below 20. We didn't go down to five and stop. We went everything below 20. We continued going past five minutes. We're including the people that are bored in the first couple minutes of my videos. We're shading half of this diagram. Half of the data is less than 20. The other half is greater than 20. We're shading in 50% here because we're not going from 5 to 20. We're going everything below 20 because the question asks, uh, for number four, what percentage of videos do you lose interest before the 30th minute? So it's all this area. Anyways, add those two up, two up and you get 97.5%, which is the answer to this question. Four more. Number five. If I select a video at random, okay, note the questions are changing. In what percentage of videos, blah, blah, blah. If I select a video at random, what is the probability that, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you remember from my notes, do I have those still open? Yes, I do, look at me. That there are two different interpretations of the area underneath the curve. So I can ask the questions to make them look like number one, like I've been doing, or I can ask the questions to make them look like number two. Either way, all I'm asking you is to find the area underneath the curve. So either way, all you're trying to do is shade in some regions and figure out how much you shade it in. So yeah, they look different from five through eight from one to four, versus one through four, but really it's the same thing. Tricky. Number five, if I select a video at random, what's the probability that you lose interest between the 15th and 30th minute? Okay, 20. There's 15, so then here's 10 and here's five. 25, here's 30, so there's 35. 
between 15 and 30. This feels familiar. Have I done this exact one yet? Damn near right here. Right? This is almost the same. 10 to 25 versus 15 to 30. It's going to be end up being the same because you can split it in the middle. And then this area in blue plus this area in red will give you my answer. And note the area in red here is the same as the area in red here. It's 34%. It's half of the distance from 15 to 25. doesn't matter if it's the 20 to 25 part or the 15 to 20 part. Either way, the area is 34. And similarly, just like the area from 10 to 20 is 47 and a half, the area from 20 to 30 is 47 and a half. So I get those areas, I add those up, and I get 81 and a half, just like I did up here. Number six. If I select a video, what's the probability that you lose interest after the 10th minute? Hmm. I keep, you can tell I'm bored with these. Oh, I did, nice. I was hoping that I had some work that I could take advantage of and be like, look, it's kind of like this one. That's too ugly for me to accept. Except just do this a little bit different, kind of those things. I think I can do that on this problem. The minutes, tw the middle is 20. There's 15, there's 10. There's 5, 25, 30, and 35. I want after 10, is that right? After the 10th minute. So here's the 10th minute right here. I want all this stuff over here. Man, that's a lot of stuff, yeah. But it's really similar to number four. Right? Before the 30th is going to be the exact same as after the 10th. Because 30 is two standard deviations above the mean. And 10 is two standard deviations below the mean. So below this amount is going to be the same as above this amount. Don't believe me? Here, let me draw a picture. Let's make this stuff red over here. Maybe you believe me that this red area, I don't want to draw arrows, it's going to be a mess is the same as this red area over here. This is 47 and a half. And similarly, this blue area is the same as bl this blue area is 50. So if you add up those two numbers, you get 97 and a half, which is not what that says, but it is what that says. That ends up being the answer to this question. Just like this one was 97 and a half percent here. Same thing, adding up those numbers. Two more, we're almost there, number seven. If I select a video, what's the probability that I lose or you lose interest between the 20th and 35th minutes? All right, I think that one won't be too bad. Because 20th is right in the middle. Works out kind of nice when you involve that in your question. 25, 30, 35. 20 to 35, careful, this is not 50%. I think if I put this on a quiz, somebody would say it's 50%. You'd be like, you're almost right, but you're wrong. Because there's some people, at least under these assumptions, that lose interest after the 35th minute. I don't know if that's really true. If anyone could stand listening to me for 35 minutes, we're at 13. We're not even close to that. Um, there's a little bit of area out here. This is not 50%. You're like, it was 50% up here? No, nah, it wasn't. Because in this one, I didn't stop at 35. I kept going. In this one, I am stopping at 35. So how much area is there here? Well, if it went from 5 to 35, it doesn't. But if it went from 5 to 35, I'd be talking about three standard deviations below to three standard deviations above. And my empirical rule tells me that that captures 99.7% of data. So what's that tell me? It tells me that this is half of that. 99.7 divided by 2 ends up getting you 49.85%. And that would be the answer to number 7. Finally, number 8. Let's switch back to green. It's been blue for a while for no apparent reason. Here's my beautiful picture. So I know I'm gonna draw one. Here's 20 minutes, 25, 30, 35, 15, 10, five. What's the question? If I select a video at random, what's the probability that you lose interest between the 25th and 35th minute? Good one to end on, because this one's hard too. There's 25, here's 35. I want this little slice right here. Hmm, that's going to be rough. If you ever don't know, try taking advantage of that split it up kind of trick. All right, it doesn't ask for 20 to 25, but you know 20 to 25 is 34%. Why? Because 15 to 25 is 68% because of the first statement in my empirical rule. Because 25 is one standard deviation above the mean, this must be 34 it also does not ask 
How much area is there? Maybe this should be in like blue or something. How much area is there from here to here? Right? Doesn't ask me that. I'm not going to shade it in because then it'll be hard to see the picture. Doesn't ask me that. How much, what percentage of people lose interest between 20 and 35 minutes? But if it did, you could answer it. In fact, you just did. Right? 20 to 35 minutes, you figured out that was 49.85%. Doesn't ask you that, but if it did, that's the number you'd come up with. If you know that this is 49.85 and you know that this is 34, I think you know the answer. It might take you a minute to reason why the answer is what it is. Remember, your answer is the green area. Well, I could come up with the green area if I started out with the blue area, if I shaded everything from 20 to 35, and then erased everything from 20 to 25. If I took, mm, low on room here, 49.85 and I subtracted 34, what I would be left with is 15.85. And that 15.85, uh, yeah, that fits. Is this shaded region right there? There's a bunch of empirical rule questions. There's nothing else I can ask you. There's nothing harder than these. These are everything I can do with the empirical rule. When I put the empirical rule in your quiz, expect it to look just like this, except instead of eight of them, I don't know, maybe four if that's the only topic on the quiz. I don't remember what will be on the quiz. I haven't made it yet. If there's two topics on the quiz, maybe like two or three of these. So if you can do all these problems, you'll be in really good shape. There's a little empirical rule practice for you.